it's time to put on the dress and complete the look and then go uh, outside. It is a beautiful April spring day here in Alberta. The snow is still there and it has been snowing the past couple days, but it does look like it's quite warm and sunny out, so I'm excited. So this is the dress. It's a little see-through, so I'm probably going to have to wear a slip under it. And that'll be fine, because it, even though it is nice and sunny out today, it'll probably be chilly, because it is April in Alberta. Terrible editing in 3, 2, 1. Woo! Skills. Yeah. It was at this point that I thought, hey, I should model this dress, but then I realized that I had totally forgotten to kind of clean up any of the area that I was going to be filming in. So I did that quickly, and then I decided to strut my stuff and do that in front of the camera. Got a little bit too close there, had to duck back down. Then picked up my shawl and modeled that too, because I was going to bring that outside just in case it got a little bit chilly, because you know, April in Canada. Flung that thing around my shoulders, modeled it a little bit more, and then turned off the camera. So I had this old jar of pickles from uh, Donna Pickles from the Farmer's Market. Yes, that is her name. And I decided that I was going to wash the label off and take it with me on my excursion and fill it up with some moss and dirt and leaves and stuff to try and make one of those self-sustaining ecosystems that I've seen. Because if I'm going to be outside in nature anyways, I might as well have fun with it, you know? The label getting off process was a lot more difficult than I anticipated, but I finally did eventually scrub it off after extensive scrubbing. And apparently while filming, my camera decided to switch into portrait mode instead of landscape mode for some reason. After that, I went and found some shoes to go with the dress. I wanted them to have a little bit of a heel so that the dress wouldn't drag on the ground as easily and I wouldn't have to pick it up while walking through the forest. And also I thought these shoes were really cute and they kind of went with the aesthetic of the dress. I also packed up some runners because I knew because of those heels my feet would be killing me. Put everything in a bag so that it would be easily accessible and then got ready to head out the door. As you will soon see by the clearly stated sign, I will make sure to lock the door. Lock all doors before you leave. Okay, here we go, Dad. I locked the door! I'm ready to go! This is going- oh, there's already cars driving by. This is gonna be interesting. It's a beautiful day, that's for sure. As I walk through my neighborhood, I see that there's no one at their windows, so I'm pretty grateful for that at the moment because I'd rather encounter people in the forests dressed like this. I don't know, it just seems a little more natural. A truck just drove by. <laughs> I averted my eyes. <laughs> Distracted by the truck, I did not notice my neighbor raking her leaves. <laughs> Hello! Hi, I'm having fun. <laughs> through the woods <laughs> in, a, in a medieval dress. Have a good day. Thanks. This is a good way to meet your neighbors, isn't it? <laughs> There's so many more people out and about than I thought there would be. Oh goodness. This is the walking trails that's around my home. Oh, there's so many people. Well, Maybe they'll think that I'm doing some sort of documentary, something. Large puddles from the snow melting, finally. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. It's mostly been old people out on walks. Um, and they all seem to think that I'm hilarious or adorable. So that's good. <laughs> kid riding by on his bike um, saluted me so with the straightest face ever. I don't know what that means but I saluted him back. I've encountered more people uh, staying away from distance wise but I've seen more people 
in just the few minutes that I've been out here than I have in the past four weeks. Cool tree that fell over. I'm headed towards a dog park. Oh, there's a plane overhead. <laughs> I'm headed towards a dog park. Um, so obviously there's going to probably be more people there with their dogs. I'm only slightly afraid of dogs. Like, isn't everybody? I have a couple friends who live in that area. People I know from church and so on. So I might just walk by their houses and wave and they'll be like, there's Abby. The girl we think is normal from church. But I guess how normal can you be when your parents are missionaries and you were homeschooled for, I don't know, like six years? There's a woodpecker in the tree there. If you can hear it. We get a lot of these in my backyard. I'm debating whether or not I should walk through the dog park. You know what? Screw it. I've already seen enough people from a distance and they've seen me like this. What's a few more? Let's make their days a little bit more interesting. That's usually what I like to do. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the dog park and I'm approaching the area where a lot of my friends live. So let's see if I can get them to look out their window. Over there, where I have to cross, there appears to be a giant puddle. Oh, never mind. It's not that deep. It looked deeper from farther away. Okay, I've left the dog park and now I am a few meters away from my friend's house. So, let's see if I can get them to see me from the window. <laughs> They'll know what to expect, right? <laughs> this is normal, right? I called. <laughs> they should be coming out to their driveway. So I saw my friends and stood on their driveway and then we went on a socially distanced walk together around the neighborhood and now I'm back in the forest and I'm going to collect some stuff from the creek and see if I can make my jar of dirt. This is the creek. Everything is brown because it's spring. Now I'm just gonna tie my dress up so I don't get it dirty. I used the incredibly long sleeves as a belt and I have changed into runners because my feet hurt. So we're going to do the thing now. going to take my jar out and go looking for some things to add to it. Because it's spring, there's not a lot of green. So, oh, there's moss, moss, perfect. Go around this way. Here we go. Moss. That's perfect. I know that we'll need some dirt at some point. Let's see. Dead. Oh, here's some dirt. Yes, Abby, grab that dirt with your bare hands. Don't try to find a stick or something. You know your dress is white, right? Let's put some of that in the bottom. Oh, that's good. Okay. Find a stick. Put that stick in there. Lots of that moss. This will be great. Let's see if I can get some bark. Here we go. There's some lichen on this bark too, so that'll be cool. Okay, a little bit more moss. And then we'll get some of the water. Okay, I think we've got enough things in the jar. We might need a bit more mud, but let's go and get some of the water. Ooh, this is gonna be difficult. Okay, 
Don't fall in, don't fall in. I love that sound. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, let's get going. Like that crunch of the leaves. Okay. So, got that all done. Got a bit of dirt on my dress, but nothing that I can't wash out. And now I'm just gonna enjoy the beautiful walk home. My hands are freezing because I washed them off in the creek so that they wouldn't <laughs> get my dress dirty when I untied it. But they're warming up quick because it's nice outside. And since I'm already about a third of the way to my boyfriend's house, I think that I'm gonna go over and surprise him, you know? He knows I'm weird, but I haven't ever done anything like this. It's still beautiful outside and it's only a 15 minute walk. About to cross another bridge. <laughs> Hope that you can hear the sound of the creek because it's just so relaxing. <sighs> My sleeves are so long. <sighs> Being outside is just such a great break. Anyways, just got passed by a bunch of people on bikes. What I love about my community is all the outdoor spaces. This place here where all these houses are used to be a dairy farm right in the middle of town. The farmers and the owners were from some of the first people to live in Spruce Grove. If walking through the forest isn't enough, I'm gonna start walking down the street. <laughs> I'm just walking down Jennifer Hile. That's a street named after a gold medalist Olympian that is from our town. Yeah, go Panthers. She went to my high school. Yes, I know I mentioned that I was homeschooled, but it was only from grades six to eight. I recently, within the past year and a half, walked down this path with a guy who wanted to go on a date with me. And I, being a people pleaser, could not say no. Hello. Dogs. I'm only slightly terrified of them. Anyways, while I was on this walk with this guy, um, who I thought maybe, hey, we could be friends, uh, we ran into my music teacher from elementary school. And at that moment, I realized and my music teacher from elementary school can't assume I'm dating this dude and that's when I realized that if you don't want people to assume you're dating someone you probably shouldn't date them because if you especially don't want your music teacher from elementary school who hasn't seen you since you're eight and probably has no idea who you are to assume that you're dating that person it's probably good to be upfront with them. And so I was. I told them we can just be friends. And with that piece of life advice, I'm going to end this video right here. I did eventually make it to my boyfriend's house. His brother um, greeted me at the door and said, what you doing? And I said, I went for a walk and gave no explanation. My boyfriend eventually came downstairs to me looking like I was going to make him elope with me. And his response was to say, hey, How's it going? So I just found out, because I just checked the time, that it is 5 p.m. And I don't know why that makes this feel weirder. <laughs> but I'm almost at my boyfriend's house. And I didn't tell him that I was coming. 